All chemicals provided by chemicals.com, Hobby Chemicals Australia. Put two coil is one of my favourite chemicals to two properties that when it is added to a fire, it burns with a brilliant blue colour and it is used in blue stars in the fire industry. In this video I'll be showing you how to make it through three methods. The first method will be using copper carbonate which I made in a previous video but can easily be bought online. Hydrochloric acid and a makeup. Remember, we are working with acids, so gloves is a must. Simply add the copper carbonate into the beaker and add the hydrochloric acid in until it stops crumbling. You can filter it off if you want, or you can just let it evaporate once the solution has finished reacting. The second method will be using copper 2 oxide, which is not the best as there's no indicator when it actually stops, as concentrated copper chloride can be brown to black in colour. The reaction is very exothermic and heats up a lot. I left it going for about 30 minutes and just gave up and filtered what I had. I realised one of my gloves had dissolved a bit and as soon as I took it off it tore. Just be careful getting it on you as it is pretty corrosive. Aqueous solution prepared of copper 2 oxide contains a range of copper 2 complexes. Depending on the concentration, temperature and the presence of an additional chloride ions, it appears greenish when higher in chlorine ions and more bluish when lower in chlorine. Like I said before, it is very corrosive. Adding a small amount to some aluminium will make it react vigorously, producing copper metal and aluminium trioxide. The third method will be using 3% hydrogen peroxide along with a bar of copper metal and some hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen peroxide is needed to react with a copper to form copper oxide, which then reacts with the hydrochloric acid to produce copper to chloride. Colour changes due to a stabiliser inside the hydrogen peroxide. I didn't know about this at the time I poured it in. Not all contain stabilisers. This one did to increase the shelf life of it, so look out for one that does not. After a day, the colour went back to dark green, showing copper 2 chloride has been produced. This is what I was left with after a few days of drying. I crushed it up and added it to a small container to dry. You can use silica gel in a closed container if you want or you can just leave it out in the sun for longer. You can test it by adding equal parts of potassium perchloride, sugar and copper chloride and igniting. If you haven't already, please check out my Patreon and consider donating towards my channel. A little can go a long way. See you in the next video.